Hi guys, I'm Karen and welcome to another video. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Today I want to do something with my hair. I have the Amica uh, straightener and I'm going to show you how I use it. And But first, but first I have to protect my hair and I'm using this Amica. This is the anti-humidity spray. Uh, I used this spray before I straighten my hair with this heat and I'm just spraying my hair with this spray and inside as well like that very very nice scent and it's a big uh, it's 223 milliliters or 150 grams, which is the large bottle and I like it very much. Now I'm taking my straightener, of course it is already heated and first thing I'm taking this. It comes with the set and I'm just dividing my hair to two pieces, I'm just taking the upper piece and connecting the pin like that and I'm just taking bunches of my hair and straighten it and I'm doing it as quickly as I can I don't want it to do to be straight too straight and it's important not to do the same part twice if you want to repeat then wait a second for it to cool down before you straighten it again and I think this side is perfect let's take the oh okay it's too hot <laughs> and let's do it again very very easy anyone can do it just be careful not to hurt yourself Like that. Now I'm taking off the pin and let's do the upper side. And starting with this section. As you can see, it's very, very easy. This is why I like this Amica straightener. So easy to straighten your hair with this. And if you're wondering why I have green and brown balloons behind me, this is my son, he has a birthday, and these are the Minecraft colors, so, yep. Okay, other side. And this side as well. So I'm doing it really, really quickly. I not going to work hours on hours on my hair I want it to be normal and straight but not too straight look at this side it turned out beautifully I'm waiting it for it to cool down and I will do it again this side still needs some work so I'm not doing anything too formal too straight Just Straighten it so it will look normal. I think I said it before, right? Yeah, I'm just beggaring. <laughs> okay, I think this is it. On this side, let's wait for it to cool down a bit. And let's do this side again. Let's see what's going on behind. And straighten it like this. So this side is now perfect. Let's see these little things here. The small hair. Yeah like that yep perfect so i'm just taking you to a pampering session to my hair today okay so as you can see i still have this little curve here i don't really like it so i'll do it again i waited a few seconds for my hair to cool down so if i already did this section i need to wait a minute before redoing it so I'm taking another portion and just straighten it and on the back as well 
and I can still see I have unfixed hair on this side so really really quickly now this has cooled down and I can repeat doing it again yeah it looks good I think just let's take the other the side on the back I'm just holding it like that and pulling it down you don't have to see you can do it out of the mirror I usually do it in front of the television it messes up the time perfectly and just at the end I'm going to the mirror to see if anything needs to be adjusted so this is usually how I do it and yep that's it let's do one more here this side and on this side and you yeah, perfect look just look at these little hairs here which usually are a bit rebellion so I'm just repeating those again like that and let's wait a second for it to cool down yeah it's cooled down and let's do it again these are the most annoying hairs I hate doing next to the ear they are very small and they usually give me a hard time okay that's it okay so I'm done so let's turn that off and take it out of the electricity and I need to put it aside for it to cool down yep okay I'm ready and well I already put in my face moisturizer so we can begin well, we're continuing and I am using my elf tone adjusting face primer and I'm just taking a bit on the back of my hand and taking my brush this is my real techniques brush and I'm just adding it to my face in tapping motions like that so today we're just pampering and I shopped my stash and I didn't get anything new which is perfect I don't need to buy so much and just for the record currently I'm not <laughs> I'm not able to meet my goal of buying just one palette a month it was it's too difficult of a goal so uh, but I am keeping the cruelty free goal so <laughs> at least one of them <laughs> is being kept okay my favorite duo is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15 I have it in the shade N4.75 I'm just adding 3 to the back of my hand and I'm adding to it my Revlon Candid in 230 which is too light for me oh no 230 is my color, sorry, 220 is too light for me. So why I'm combining it? Hmm. Okay. So I don't know why I'm combining. I think I just got used to combining colors. And let me think. It turned out beautifully together. One of them has a strange scent to it. And I don't know which one. Let's see in just a minute. So I'm just taking my damp beauty sponge. This is by Nikia Joy. As you know, if you're following me, I love this sponge. I have so many sponges. I have by Real Technique. I have one that I got in the beauty box. I have one from AWB, but I don't know. I love this, this sponge and since it's already out and I'm using it so I don't see the need to have another one 
Yeah, and I know some said that there is a sponge for foundation and a sponge for powder and so on, but you know, we should all do what is right for us. Okay, so just taking a look in the mirror. Yep, perfect match. Look at that. Perfect, perfect color match. Great. Okay, now let's do some. Um, let's take the color correcting by Elf. Yeah. Okay, this is the Elf color correcting stick. It's in the shade orange. Okay, there is something written down there. I'm just adding it to my black circles. And there are plenty of black circles. Spent last night hanging on the balloons and signs and wrapping presents and so on and so on. I'm trying to do a PowerPoint presentation that failed because I don't know there was a problem with the computer. So I have to continue today even though today is the big day. Okay, so I just added the L'Oreal Inflammable More Than Concealer in the shade 330. I have this one in two other shades. I have it in 333 and 326. The 326 is too light and I use it if I want to add some brightness to my face. Now I'm taking my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. Just adding a tiny bit to the back of my hand. Just like that. And my favorite one so far is by LA Girl, which is a stick. And I like that format of a stick. And I have so many that I need to finish. So I am trying to use the ones that I already have and not just a stick, even though I really, really like it. So easy to use and it's giving me very good results. Now I'm just tapping under my eye. So as I said, my son is into Minecraft. He just turned 11. And these are the Minecraft colors, if you don't know that. If you don't have sons at that age, you probably don't know that. <laughs> and... Uh, Okay, I just, now it looks perfect, we can powder, and I'm using the Nikia Joy Cosmetics uh, Velvet Finishing Powder, and this one is just the best powder, and I'm just, I have a tiny bit on the lid, so I'm going to use it, I'm taking my sponge, and adding it to my under eye area like that. I'm just going to add a bit more from to the lid from the container to the lid and add to my other eye and I'm using the same damp sponge for that as well. I'll just add a tiny bit more for the rest of my face and I'll just take my huge brush and spread it all over my face. And second step, ah, oh, the scent of vanilla. I love this one. One of my favorite powders. And when it's going to be over, I'm definitely going to repurchase this one. Okay, next up, let's do something with these brows. And I'm using my e.l.f. Duo. This one is in the shade Light. And this is how it looks like. And I think oh, it was in the recent video as well. I kind of fell in love, in love with this. So I'm taking the light side, the light side to the places where I already have hair. So here, I'm just adding the light color 
and on the other side as well and it is perfect for this purpose when you already have the hair you don't need a very dark color you need a dark color for the places that you don't have a lot of hair so I'm switching to the dark color and adding it like so and I like it that there is a small mirror here very very convenient and small but it's enough you don't need more than that and it's perfect it's affordable it works you can buy it on iHerb you know, what more can you need Okay, this is it, my brows are ready and I can add a tiny bit of this Wet n Wild Mega Clear Gel. This is the Lush and Brow Mascara. It's still clear but I guess it won't stay here like that for a long time. And I'm just brushing my eyebrows with this beautiful gel mascara taking my sierra beads this is the organic cocoa butter lip balm i just have very dry lips and this is perfect for this cause yep okay look i have no one so pale oh my god okay let's take this one this is cheek to cheek this is from everyday minerals i also love this very much it has a highlighter a bronzer and four blushes let's take the bronzer and i'm just taking this cold bronze the day away these are minis and they are perfect i really don't need more than that it's going to last me for I think more than a year. I already have this one, I don't know, two, three months since I bought it. I'm just taking out a tiny bit and taking my brush. I don't remember if it is pigmented or not, so let's take the axis on the back of my hand and bronze because I'm so pale. I need something to warm up the face and this is it. Warming up the face like that. I think I need additional quantities, so I'm just adding more to the lid. And from the lid, I'm taking my brush and warming up my face, my temples, and in the perimeter of my face, just like that. And adding to the other side as well perfect now I'm going to take a blush which blush do I want to take I have four blushes an orangey two pinks and a darker pink let's go with the darker pink which is called I'm taken mm, nice take my brush and Let's see how pigmented this is and I'm going to add it the same way, same place where I added my bronzer, I'm not adding it to the apples of my face, of apples of my cheeks, it's just like that, where I apply the bronzer but not in the perimeter of my face and now we have the highlighter which I love so much this is it it is called sheer honesty this is it let's take some from the lid take out tiny amount take my brush where are you I'm here okay and I'm just adding it like that and 
hand to the bridge of my nose. You can put it on the tip of your nose and on Cupid bow. Okay, that's it. This is the highlighter and this was the set of the Chick to Chick by Everyday Minerals. And I like the packaging which is recyclable. Okay, let's now continue to the eyes or before the eyes I want to do my lips. And I'm going to use this one. This is by Golden Rose. It's called Dream Lips Liner. And this is in the shade 501. This is it. Oh, I should have sharpened it. Very, very light color, nudie color. Just going to do my lips. And starting from the outer corner. And outer corner. And then Cupid's bow again. Okay, on top of it, I'm going to add this Maybelline. This is uh, shade 930 Nude Embrace. This is the matte collection. This is how it looks like. Beautiful, beautiful nudie brown color. And a perfect match to the lip liner. Yeah. Well, I have to say that I haven't used that for, I don't know, I think a month or two and now it has a very unpleasant scent to it an unpleasant feeling in my lips I don't know why I'm going to add my Colourpop Luxe lip oil in the shade local time just going to add some sheen to it what happened to my mirror Very, very pleasant on the lips. Now, let's go back to Colourpop. And I have this one. This is the Boudoir Noël eyeshadow palette. I haven't used it for a long time. I don't know why, but I didn't. <laughs> and this is how it looks like. It has a beautiful big mirror. And it has such pretty colors. I really don't know why I haven't used it as much so far but it's all going to change today and i'm going to start with this beautiful shade which is called melt this one here i'm going to put it in my crease let's take my crease brush and melt let's see oh yeah it has a lot of fallout so pay attention to that and i'm just going to add it above my crease Take off the axis and it is a very very light shade. Thought it's going to be darker. And I'm going to add to it from this shade which is called Desire. This is Desire. Let's add to the crease. This one has less pigment. Let's follow. Yep. Yeah, definitely more pigment. And less fallout. Which is perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to take my brush. And I'm going to take my flat brush, I mean, and I'm going to take this color, which is called Late Text, which is this 
olive green here and add it to the outer corner of my eye tapping it to the outer corner and on the other side as well I'm trying to do a triangle shape also on this side as well now this one is going up higher than this one so I'm just going to do the same and it's already looking perfect okay I'm going to add a tiny bit of this dark brown brown no, it's not a brown it's green olive color this one it is called hot toddy and add it above late text just at the end just in the corner here to add some depth to it tap 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 yep perfect and now i'm going to take uh i guess hmm which one will i take the gold one slip in or this shade here which is called body language let's swatch them and see and then we can decide so hmm, okay these are the two shades which one will look good let's go with the gold <laughs> the gold is slip in and I'm just taking with my finger and tapping it okay yeah was the right decision definitely and I'm just adding where there is no color and in the tapping it in the middle so it will look cohesive like that what a pretty color okay this is it hmm. okay now let's take the blending brush okay Look at that, this is so beautiful. What a beautiful shade. This gold shade. And this one is also a beautiful shade, but it, I don't know, I felt for the gold. And I just need my blending brush. And blend it a bit. So it will look beautiful. Hmm. Last but not least, I have this mascara by Essence. This is the Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. And I love this one. Let's see the wand. This is how it looks like. This is one of my favorite mascaras. It's so beautiful, very easily applied, and it's so easy to remove, which is perfect. I'm just adding it my lashes I'm just brushing it and then wingling it wingling like that I have lashes I'm going to dip again because this mascara is not new which reminds me that I need to buy another one even though I have a lot of others that I haven't even opened so I don't know if I'll buy just right now more from this but it is definitely a repurchase one when I need to buy additional mascara I will definitely grab this one look at that it's so beautiful it coated my lashes beautifully
and with the tip you can coat those external lashes okay this is it this is the final look let's just close the mascara and i can show you the final look this is it okay what do you think do you like it i think it turned out beautifully and the mascara is really adding and i left my lower lashes deliberately blank without anything no mascara and no color because i don't know sometimes i like it like that and this is one of them okay so this is it i really think it turned out beautifully if you liked it as well let me know in the comment section down below do you have this palette i think it is a beautiful beautiful palette and very high quality like color pop is a renowned by maybe i should have tried this one let's just watch it okay this one looks beautiful oh my god look at these glitters but it's a bit too patchy i don't know i guess there is an asterisk for that color on the back yep bedtime story yep definitely so be careful when you use it in your eyes be aware that it has glitters and there is a warning on it and there are other ones with warning no just this one and yep okay so this is a beautiful palette i i really want to put in some glitter but i don't want to ruin the makeup that I already created so maybe next time so thank you Colourpop, this is perfect and this is as I said the end result. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye!